Painter to throw, goes deep over the middle, intercepted! Bears have an interception to the left sideline, to the 10, to the 5, to the 4, to the 3, to the Touchdown. 2! Did he get in? He got the pylon. He hit the pylon, but no signal that he got in. They're, they're checking, yep, he got it. Touchdown Bears! The fresh reminder of what it's like to come up with a huge player, defensive player of the week, Kevin Weaver. That's the crucial moment in a win for Cal against Washington. And he joins us here on Pac-12 Network. Evan, appreciate you stopping by with us. All right, so you tell me, first career interception, it's a pick six. At what point did you realize you were going to score? Uh, you know, I think after I got past their quarterback was when I really realized that I really have a chance here. And uh, then I saw uh, the big uh, right tackle coming after me. I'm like, oh, we can't get tackled by this guy. <laughs> so uh, luckily he, he kind of just uh, jumped right over me and I just uh, made it in the end zone. Somehow I just kind of blacked out after I, after I caught the ball. So. <laughs> It's sweet memories, I'm sure, all over social media. And obviously, we've been airing it nonstop on Pac-12 Network as well. All right, when, when it's Jake Henner, you mentioned you get past the quarterback. It's Hainer and not Browning out there. Do you think differently as a defensive player, knowing it's a, it's a redshirt freshman who doesn't have a whole lot of experience in it, QB? I'm not, I'm not even going to lie. I didn't even know that, that Jake Browning wasn't in there until uh, people started telling me after I picked the ball off. So... Uh, then, then after that, when he came in for the next for the next uh, series, I was I was kind of like, okay, yeah, let's see if we can do this again. But then they ended up uh, putting Jake Browning back in later on. Look at you getting greedy. Let's do it again. You already <laughs> had the one pick six. You're looking for another one. I can appreciate that. You know, Evan, a couple weeks ago, we were in Corvallis for for your guys' win against the Beavs, and Justin Wilcox and Patrick Lair, both of those guys, stopped by our set on post game, and they had made reference to the players only meeting. You obviously were a part of that. Take me into that meeting and how you think it's helped you over these last two weeks, which have been W's for the Bears. Yeah, I mean, it was just a time for honesty for everybody and really uh, understanding why we do this and why we put on all this work and uh, where we want to go as a team and where we can be as a team. And so being able to bring everybody together and being able to uh, understand why everybody's doing everything that we're doing, uh, I think has really helped us carry, carry that into the Oregon State game and then the Washington game and hopefully the Wazoo game this year. All right, I know you know what people say about the Bears heading into a game like that against Washington. How much do you feel like there's something to prove if you're on that Cal team knowing that, let's be honest here, I mean, I think pretty much everyone had picked Washington to beat you guys. Yeah, I mean, we, we know how good we are. We know how good we can be. And uh, it's just going out there and proving it every single week. I mean, we've had some uh, ups and downs this week, but it's never going to be a straight direct directory to the top. So uh, being able to just uh, like keep ourselves even keel throughout the whole year and uh, being able to bounce back from those lows and bring them back up to highs uh, is just uh, what it's all about. All right, another significant matchup for your squad this coming weekend, Washington State. We just spent some time talking about them, the college football playoff, and obviously the, the opportunity for them to represent this conference, still the best chance in the league. they got to handle business. Last year, though, they came in as a top-10 team, seven turnovers, five interceptions is what your defense was able to, to cause here. What are the similarities and differences between this Washington State team and the one that you're going to be playing this week? Well, I mean, the main similarity is that it's it's the same it's the same offense. Uh, pretty much, uh, got, I got a few guys coming back on uh, the wide receivers with Sweet, and then uh, Gardner Minshew. He, he's a great quarterback. Uh, he he might be a little bit better than Luke Falk. Uh, he makes smart decisions with the ball. Uh, he knows where to get it, uh, get it to his receivers. So it's just going to be our same game plan, just trying to turn over the ball and get as much pressure on the quarterback as possible. Is there something that, that you can pull away from that game that helps you this week? Uh, really just, uh, just focusing in on, on the route concepts and how they ran them and uh, really being able to uh, translate that over into the game that they played this year and understanding the depth of the routes and the depth of the quarterback drops and uh, seeing where his eyes go and all that. All right, Evan, before we let you get going here, I made reference to the fact that you were the star of the Bears. You're the best defensive player this past week in the Pac-12 conference. You get the win against Washington. I guess what I'm confused about is you had tweeted something fraternizing with the enemy. Can you explain to me what I was looking at with you hanging out with, with members of, of the Washington fan club here? 
Yeah, so uh, my dad is actually a UW alum, and those were, uh, were a few of his, uh, his uh, fraternity uh, brothers that I actually remember going to games with uh, when, I was, when I was little. I uh, used to go to UW games almost every other, every other Saturday, so uh, uh, just being able to see those guys again was, was really cool, and it was really cool that they got to come up for the game. And to be clear, your dad was one of the ones wearing a Cal jersey, right? Yeah, okay. I guess he was. <laughs> Just wanted to double check and make sure that that was the case, that he was still going over blood versus uh, uh, where he went to school and yeah, where that no, alumni he, card is. So. He's all blood now. Yes. All right, Evan, look, yeah. congratulations, man, on a huge week, not only for you and your teammates, but what could be an epic week this coming weekend. We can't wait to see you guys on the football field. Yeah, great. Thank you.